All right then, gang. So in the last lesson, we were able to register for a new account. And when we did that, Laravel created that new user for us in the users table. But also behind the scenes, it updated the session ID for us. And we see that session cookie right here. So now on every subsequent request that we send while we're logged into the application, this session cookie gets sent to the server. And using that session cookie, Laravel can identify whether we're authenticated or not. Currently, we are, because we just registered and used the login method. If we ever log out, then Laravel will update the session cookie so that it knows that we are not logged in. Now, we're logged in currently because we just registered, so I think the next logical step would be to log users back out. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is make a route and a controller action for the logout request. Now, when we send a logout request, it's always a bit more secure to use a post request. So I'm just gonna copy and paste the login route right here, which already uses the post method. And then we just need to change the path to forward slash logout. We also need to update the controller action name as well, which is gonna be logout. And finally, we can call this route just logout. All right. So now let's go and make the logout action in the auth controller. So down at the bottom below the login action, we're going to make a new public function and that's going to be called logout. And then we need a set of curly braces down here as well. Now we're going to come back to this action and flesh it out later. But to begin with, I want to create a button in the nav bar, which is going to trigger this post request to the login, uh, the logout rather route. So let's open up the layout view and just add that in first of all. Now, like I said a moment ago, when we click on the button to log out, it should be sending a post request to the server to that forward slash logout route. And for that to happen, we need to place the button inside a form and specify the method to be post. So let's do that then. Let's make a new form tag down here at the end. And for the action, we're going to use the route function first of all, and we're going to direct this towards the logout route. We also need a method attribute, which we're going to set to be post. Also, I want to just add a Tailwind class to this form to strip out any margin just for stylistic purposes. So let's add the M hyphen zero class to do that. All right, so inside this form then, we need the CSRF directive to prevent cross-site request forgery. And then below that, we need a button to submit the form. And that's going to trigger the post request to the logout route. And I'm going to give that a class of BTN as well, just to style it. For the text, we can just say logout. All right, so now we have a button in the nav bar, which a user can click to log out. And that sends a post request to the logout route, which in turn calls the logout action inside the auth controller. So now then we just need to head to that action inside the controller and actually log the user out. So then the first thing we're going to do in here is use the auth class like we did before to log in. But this time we're going to use the logout method instead to log the user out. And this time we don't need to pass a user in as an argument. So this function just logs out the current user in a sense that it breaks the connection between the current session and the authenticated user. So it removes all user data like the user ID from the current session. However, it doesn't completely remove all the data from the session, only the user data. So any other data in the session will remain. For example, if you were browsing a shopping website and you had a cart full of products, then any products that were stored in the session, well, they would still remain even after logging out. So to completely remove all the data from a session after a logout, we can first of all accept a request argument up here which we automatically get access to in the action. Then we can use that request object and on that use a method called session. And then on that session, we can tack on another method called invalidate. And this invalidate method will remove any other data associated with the session completely. So it's often a good practice to do this kind of thing after a user logs out to clear the rest of the session data. We're also going to use another session method after this, which is recommended to do after you log a user out. So let me just copy this down onto the next line as well. And then we're going to replace the invalidate method with one called regenerate token. So what this does 
is regenerate the CSRF token for the next session. And it means any forms which get submitted with the previous old token from the previous session, they're just gonna be flat out rejected. So this is just an added layer of security and it's generally recommended that we do this after we log a user out. You don't have to do both of these things, but I wanted to mention them because it is a good practice in a lot of cases. Okay, so now finally we wanna redirect the user once they've logged out back to the login page. So let's return a redirect here, then tack on the route method. And then as an argument to that, we'll use the show.loginRoute name to redirect back to the login view once the user logs out. All right, so now let's save this and we can see if this all works in a browser. All right, so I'm currently still authenticated from the previous lesson where we registered and logged the user in. Now I'm gonna log out and if this works, it should redirect me then back to the login page. So let's click on this. Oops, not login, sorry. Let's go back to the home page. We wanna click on log out. And when we do that, yeah, we get redirected now back to the login page. Cool. 